Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harp Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Cibolo Canyons. And I've done a few videos on this community and I really like it. The location's great. If you wanna be in the north central part of the San Antonio area, go to some great schools. This, has, this goes to Johnson High School, which is one of the top rated high schools in this whole area. Um, and don't forget the JW Marriott is right here. Anyways, the home behind me is a pre-existing home built in 2018, and it's an imagined home. Let's go check it out. Love this community. This house is on a hill, so you do have a slope going from uh, one side of the house to the other, but uh, it is a beautiful home. And like I said, I love this community. This house, uh, I mentioned it's built in 2018. It is 3,882 square feet. It is a five bedroom three and a half bath and on almost a quarter of an acre. So uh, really nice house in a great community. Let's go on inside and check it out. Driveway is a little steep on one side, but it's on the small car garage side. But a neat little walk up here. Would not advise being too drunk coming up here because that is a pretty hefty stumble or pretty funny stumble if it happens to happen. But a uh, beautiful entryway. Love the big eight foot doors. Right when you come in, this is a very clean design. This house has just been on the market one day. The reason I'm doing this video, because I'm out with my client and her husband is overseas in Germany right now. So this video is for them until either we get it under contract or they pass on it, then I'll make it public on YouTube. But the asking price is $580,000. But you do have a beautiful living space. Let's go check out this kitchen. Loving the tile floor, especially that I carried it throughout this downstairs. This backsplash is really nice. gas community which is a must for my current clients and like me they love the granite composite sink and i love the shape of this one the granite here this is just a level one i'm not too impressed with the granite itself but we have a lot of granite places in the greater san antonio area if you're thinking about moving here, never buy granite from the Lowe's or Home Depot because they're selling it on national prices when we have our own granite stores. Not saying granite's dirt cheap here because it's not, but uh, definitely a better value and it's kind of nice to you know, pick out your own slab. But beautiful, let's check out this pantry here. Oh, that's not as big as pantry as I like, but wait. There's two pantries. There we go. So pantry space is not a problem. All right. We do have multiple bedrooms. So you have a breakfast nook right over here. Nice little place for your built-in uh, refrigerator. There is an upstairs with a really nice loft space and two more bedrooms or two more living spaces, but we'll get to that in a second. You've got a Jack and Jill combo room here. One can easily be a guest bedroom for somebody. Or if you had uh, kiddos or something they wanted to share, it does have the mud inset shower with nice tile in it. Nice tall vanity, but good size room. I love the fact that there's eight foot doors throughout. Well, a pretty decent sized closet. This is, like I mentioned before, it is a three car garage. It's not the biggest three car garage I've seen. Because if you look at the little side where the door is at meeting the wall, that's pretty close to the wall. But it's not the biggest three car garage, but you can definitely put three vehicles in. We do have a tankless water heater and plumb for water softener. 
So nothing too excited about this car, this three car garage, but now you've seen it. All right, well, we just came from that room. The laundry room's right here also. Once again, nothing real thrilling about the laundry room, but if you saw my other video, my client was considering, you can at least put, two wash, put your washer and dryer side by side and does have a little counter space. Nice appliances. I love the Wi-Fi capability of those appliances there. All right, we do have a powder room right over on this side. And I'm pretty sure this can be just a little closet. Yep, just a little closet there. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Oh no, take that back. Let's go out to the backyard and check that out first. We do have a nice covered patio space with a giant fan on there. Love these giant fans. Now the sun in this house will be setting west is right directly to the side of us. So of course the east is right over there. But you do have lots of, uh, I wouldn't say big oak trees, but some smaller oak trees and some cedars. I'm not sure why there's so many cedars still left here because cedars really suck up the water from the other oak trees. But you do have a good sized lot and you get creative if you want to do some uh, stuff with that. Remember this is a pre-existing home, so there's some touch-up stuff that needs to happen. All right, let's head upstairs and let's talk about this loft area and additional living space. So right up top, you have a really good sized loft area, perfect size for a pool table, if you want to make it into, I don't know if I would even call use this as a media room because the sound would be all over the place. But you do have two other exceptionally long rooms. Well, this wouldn't be a good media room either because unless you blocked off one of these windows. But long room, we weren't able to get that light to turn on, so sorry if it's dark. But there's another really long room right over here. Now this one might be, we got the light and the fan on going, but this might be used if you wanted to have a media room, throw some blackout curtains there, put your projector on this back wall, then you can do some really neat stuff with this room because this is a great shape to put a big screen and some sound up there and block the sound from the rest of the house unless the people living stay in the guest room downstairs that could be interesting but still have plenty of living space to do whatever you want to up here i'll we'll go check out this little closet here probably pretty small and it is all right let's head back downstairs check out the owner suite all right I'm back at the kitchen I mentioned there is a fireplace there it's already wired for the tv up top or if you want to have your TV off to the side. You can do either one. We do have a breakfast nook area. They also have a formal dining room. And if you wanted to convert this space into a sitting area, a lounge, put a bar in here, you can do whatever you want to with this room with these super tall ceilings. Or leave it as the builder intended as a formal dining room. We do have a little built-in power switch. There's some nice tall windows here. All right, let's check out the owner's suite, good size room. Nothing super fancy with the ceiling, but it does have the extra can lighting in it. We do have the French doors leading in and the, this is a different tile floor. I really like it, but also has the standalone tub. Um, I mentioned that the builder is Imagine Homes. Their claim to fame is building an extremely energy efficient home. Um, they actually have quite a bit of spray foam up in the attic 
which is a really good way to keep your utility cost down. You have two different vanities, got your makeup sitting counter space. Love the fact that the mirrors are already framed versus those builder's grade mirrors. It's a nice built-in linen closet and a good sized shower here with a stool with a bench there. Mud inset, no little cheapy stuff. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Well, when they do the plastic, it's, you have to step over. But that's a really nice shower. Now, I wouldn't say this is a giant master bedroom closet, but it does leave you room for if you wanted to put another row of, of uh, or another bar across the top there, you can. But still, it's a good enough size closet, just not a giant one. Let's see if I can pull down here and show you that attic access. Uh, not really any light to really show off the spray foam, but I can see it. All right, let's head back out here and we'll wrap this little video up. Give you a slow pan of uh, the living space one last time. All right. All right, that's gonna wrap up tour of this beautiful home. That's a pre-existing home built in 2018 by Imagine Homes in the resort style community of Cibolo Canyons in the Cielo section. Remember they are asking, make sure I get it right, 580k for this house it just came on the market today and if you're watching this video that means either my client has this under contract or somebody else does because I want them to have first dibs at it. I don't want to over market for somebody else who's not actually buying this house because I am a realtor working for clients who are looking to buy a house and if you're looking to you looking for a realtor in this area feel free to give me a text I'll be happy to help. All right make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Take it now. Bye.